You either use the internet for fun or you use the internet to grow. You're here to grow. Welcome to TRS Clips. I know that science doesn't have a definition for consciousness, and everyone has different opinions on what it is. Uh, because you also have this whole dharmic side, this Vedic side. I'd love to know what you think about consciousness as a scientist, and then connected to this whole crop circle and Rangoli thing. Oh, the Western uh, thought Westerners uh, like for a long period of time they have thought consciousness as an emergent property of the Uh, systems so any system which is complicated enough will have certain attributes and properties which are more than the sum total of their ex- uh, countable properties mm. so uh, for example uh, human body human body is a aggregate of so many number of cells and but after joining all together it has got a separate attributes and existence so they thought that lot of things come together okay even computer for example uh transistors everything come together then it creates a kind of a experience of a, a computer so they thought that you know the consciousness can be created by assembling things etc and this is called the concept of consciousness as an emergent property that is it emerges as a, a new attribute when you combine together a lot of uh, simple systems and make complex systems three four level of complexity then consciousness just emerge but then this theory got a big beating uh, from the last uh, like uh, i'd say two decades from 2000 onwards we did it re- that because this emergent property theory reached nowhere people started looking at brain different parts of the brain and try to find when the consciousness comes etc that uh, that biological studies reached nowhere they they're still going on but there is no conclusion etc then uh, there are certain people like roger penrose and mark hameroff the, these are like quantum uh, theory uh, scientists working in the area of quantum theory and they started formulating certain theories that uh, consciousness uh, like because the emergent emergent uh, consciousness and emergent property uh, it is not res- giving any result so then let us uh, rethink consider consciousness as a attribute of the co- universe and then things started emerging for example um, we already uh, have the quantum theory principle like uh, like the uh, this uh, what do you call collapse of the quantum wave function that you are familiar with that is basically everything that is there in the universe exists as a probability cloud as in only when you look at it it exists yeah. so for example whether there is a there is an electron or not so the universe don't say that there is an electron or no electron it will only say that there is a probability of having an electron in this particular location for example uh-huh. uh, everything is a combination of atoms together and electrons together uh, so f- these plants actually hmm. are only plants when we turn towards them and look at them is it a fair assessment of the theory yeah i mean that is one way the uh, many people look at it but actually this particular there or not thing works mostly in subatomic level Okay. it is more true in subatomic level okay. in the electron level not in our realm yeah I mean, you, in our realm uh, it is there is very difficult to uh, make a uh, something is there or not mm. of course the schrodinger cat experiment etc is there but mostly it is mathematically more palatable in the subatomic level so you can actually for an electron you can ask this question so when, is, if we were able to shrink ourselves down to a subatomic level then this theory yeah, yes. would exist so it you you are correct in a way because we are all like our entire human body is made of atoms in which you have electrons mm. so that are electrons that we are talking about so of course when the electron is not there and large number of electrons are not there you yourself uh, just not there i mean that kind of situation will come but more palatably it is in the quantum or subatomic level mm. so you have a probability right uh, so uh, subatomic pat- uh, particles mostly like uh, electrons and quarks quarks are the components making the protons and neutron all of them are defined by probabilistic waves and if the, something has to be like from the from the level of probability it's like a cloud it's something like you have to consider something like a vapor kind of thing uh, from that probability if something has to be concretely uh, realized then somebody need to observe it so then you have an act of observation so till the point of this quantum theory's principle of act of observation every scientist thought that me as a scientist or an observer is independent of whatever is happening in the universe but from that point onwards it becomes very clear your consciousness plays a role in creation mm. because see uh, till the time of uh, this uh, erwin schrodinger uh, this uh, stephen hawking for example just they put out this theory and they were not thinking anything further they said okay 
probabilistic wave function uh, will give you a concrete object like a, a electron when you start observing it and they left it in but that has got a bigger consequence which only uh, that uh, there is a uh, whose foundation is in vedanta basically so in the vedanta like for example if you look at advaita vedanta principle you, there is a kind of a theory theory means it is a part of the advaita vedanta like uh, whatever uh, the entire universe doesn't exist brahma satyam jagat mithya jagat is mithya like it is not existing only when you are lo- uh, like ready to observe it that it is our, it is there mm-hmm. so that is the principle of uh, advaita when you when you look at it you see it otherwise it's not there that that kind of a concept you know there is uh, uh, no existence other than in your own consciousness so it is like uh, if you ask for an advaiti they will say the entire universe of uh, multiple people multiple people talking to each other everything is your own men- uh, like coming out from your own consciousness you create that like that that mm. is the what the Ved- uh, advaita vedanta is saying and if you look at the quantum theory of probabilistic uh, wave structure wave collapse collapse of the quantum wave same it is same thing so, so that connect mm. is established uh, very recently basically consciousness is the source that creates reality correct correct yes mm. so when you say uh, a quantum probability cloud collapses into a reality when somebody observe it basically you are uh, pointing to the consciousness okay the consciousness okay. is uh, observing and creating the reality new clips released at the same time that a podcast releases this is trs clips make sure you subscribe